guys, it's Sugar Deja here, aka Queen B. I hope you're ready for this video. <clears throat> but first off, if you're new to my channel, welcome. My name is Deja, but you can call me Queen B. Um, or Deja or D or whatever. It's fine. Um, uh, but if you're not subscribed, you should definitely subscribe to the Royal Fam with this. But if you're not subscribed. You should definitely join a real family because we're a family over here and everybody needs a little family in their life to support and love and care for them. And that's what I'm trying to do for y'all. But if you are returning and you're already subscribing and part of this royal fam, hey, my queens, how you been? How you doing? Is everything good? I hope it is. <clears throat> but we're going to get to this video. I know I'm wearing the same outfit. I was either wearing the video before this or after this because I don't know how I'm uploading these videos yet. But y'all know what I'm doing. I'm trying to get work done. So it's fine. You know you got to do a little what you got to do sometimes. But that's all I'm rambling. We about to get into this video because I know. I know. Y'all is, y'all is like, girl, let me, let me know the tea. Tell me what's going on. So we're going into this video. So stay tuned and keep watching if you are ready to see what I'm about to tell y'all. Okay, so I already know that y'all already know what this video is about by the title, but in case you didn't read the title and you was just like, Queen, he uploaded it. Let me click on it. Let me watch it. <laughs> I'm going to tell you what this video is about. So, this video is about my first Brazilian wax experience, y'all, because your girl finally did it, and I just want to let y'all know what the tea is, what happened, and how it went. Okay, so... First of all, last week, as y'all know, I was on spring break. So, I went to get, me and my, my friend had texted me a couple days. She, like, I went on the 13th. She texted me, like, on the Saturday before that. And she was like, are you trying to go get waxes? And I was like, yes, I'm trying to go get waxes. Because, honestly, I've been trying to get a wax since last summer. But nobody ever wants to go with me. Everybody was like, oh, I just shaved or I'm scared. And I'm like, I want to do this, but I didn't want to go by myself, you know. I didn't want to do it by myself. So I was like, yeah, I'm down. Keep in mind that that Tuesday that we went, it was my mom's birthday. So I had to go in the morning. Okay, so the Tuesday, the 13th came and March 13th this happened literally last week came whatever my friend came pick me up we went to the European wax center so y'all know what's real we went to the European wax center and yeah so we went you know my what's my girl name hold on it's a card in here somewhere that told me that I think tell you my name the person who did mine, her name was Jenna or whatever. Okay, so keep in mind, I only shave. I've never tried to wax at home. You know, I'm only shaved. And I did. And the thing is, I had just shaved like two weeks before. And I was like, I don't think I, I don't think it's long enough um, yet. Because my hair sometimes won't go back fast. Sometimes it won't go back slow. It, does, it just do what I want to do sometimes. I was like, I hope I got enough hair because what they don't wax. But... Luckily, I did. So, this is, this is, it really, to me, it didn't hurt. It only hurt on a couple parts, but it wasn't really bad. Like, out of a scale of 1 to 10, I would say the pain was, like, a 3 or a 4. Like, it wasn't, it wasn't terrible at all. Like, 10 being worse. It wasn't terrible at all. Like, it did, it did catch you off guard a couple times, but you know they talk to you. So, I got the full Brazilian, which is the whole bikini area, all of the poon poon, all of that down there. And the butt strip, which is your booty crack. They get you good. And that, surprisingly, you would think that that hurt, but that didn't hurt at all. Like, that didn't hurt at all. And I think it's because they do the poom poom first. So all of that is where the pain focuses on. And then once they do that, you're like, what? That's nothing. So, okay. So, you know, you strip from the waist down or whatever. And um, it's a little, little square room. You know, you lay on the table. You shut from the waist down, you get on the table, okay, you get on the table, and you lay with your legs in the butterfly position, so your feet is together like this, and your legs like this, so you you, you sitting, laying down on the table like this, up, exposed and everything, and like me, I was so uncomfortable, I was like, oh my gosh, this stranger is looking at my poom poom, like what the heck, like, oh my gosh, I could not, I could not be a waxer at all, I would not be able to do that, but yeah. You lay it on it like this. They ask you questions. Have you ever done this before? Blah, blah, blah. You tell them no. It was my first time. So, 
Okay, so she's like, okay, well, I'm about to get started. She put on the gloves. Did she have on the gloves? Yeah, she put on the gloves. Wait, no, she didn't have I don't know. I don't know if she had on gloves or not. I'm pretty sure she did. So, it was like the, um, and the type of wax they use is like the cool wax. So, it's like they put it on and then they rip the wax off. They don't use the strips, which, because the cool wax is, is supposed to be like, you know, easier, safer, nicer, smoother, more, less painful. So. She does, you do the outer areas first. So she gets, she dips a little stick in the wax and she starts rubbing it, rubbing it around the outer perimeters first. And when the wax, for, when you first feel the wax, you're like, that is hot. But it eventually, like eventually you get used to it and it's really not that hot. It's just hot because you don't, you don't go around walking around with hot things just on there, you know? So it feels like really hot to you, but it's really not that hot because after, the first time when she starts putting it on her again, you're like, oh, that's not hot. But it catch you off guard, though. Okay, so, of course, they're talking to you. They're distracting you, you know, asking you, you know, how your life is, what you've been doing, like, what got you interested in this and stuff and like that. And, of course, you ask some questions back. You know, y'all having a conversation. Y'all friends or whatever. Like, y'all might as well get comfortable with each other because she down there doing what she got to do. So, you know, we're talking, okay, and the, the, the um, what you call it? The wax finally hardened, so she's about to rip the first one off, okay? And it's like, I would say this is like the area right under my stomach she did first. Like, the, the happy trail kind of area, but not the happy trail. It was like, I don't know what to call that. It wasn't the poop, but either. I don't have, but you know what I'm talking about. The top of the poom poom. So, she rips it off. We're talking, though. So, she rips it off right in the middle of our conversation. And I was like, ow. Like, that, like, the first one, of course, hurt. Because you don't know how it's going to feel. It hurt, but it wasn't like an, uh a pain that I couldn't tolerate. It was just like stun. And the only thing is it only hurts when the first hairs come off. Like when you're ripping it and the first couple hairs come off, that's all you feel. And then it's like psh, you don't feel the rest. So that's good. So the outer areas didn't hurt, you know, she got a little dang I wish I could try. I don't know how to show you this, but you know, this is wait, this is the area. This is the vagina. So this is the area where my thumbs are that's the area she got first and then she got the outsides of the area and then this part right here is the part that like goes towards your butt so she got all of that first and then she got in the inside okay so the lips these are the lips the inside of the lips let me tell y'all that's a painful thing right there my legs kicks let me tell you because we was talking and she just did it and i was like Ow, that hurt like that hurt like my legs kicked that she had to hold my legs down because my reflexes was like that's not supposed to feel like that but it hurt but it was like after it after it happened it was like okay it's okay but this the next the other side hurt too so it's like that those are the most sensitive parts and she told me that like those are the parts i'm gonna hurt the most because those are some sensitive areas right there so you know she got it in like um of course it's my first time so and my hair was short already so not all of the hairs came off but it was still looked good still looked smooth it was still looking good feeling good and all of that looking like a movie star too bad nobody gonna see it but me but it's okay because i did it for myself okay so after she finished that area or whatever she was like okay we'll turn over and you know they ask you if you want the butt strip too it don't cost extra but they ask you because some people like a hairy booty i don't and i have a hard time getting back there when i was shaving so I was going to take that opportunity. So she's like, okay, turn around um, <laughs> and spread your cheeks. So I turned around, spread it. She put the wax in there or whatever. That It wasn't that hot back there, but it was just like, wow. So she did. She, she pulled it. It was like, okay, I'm going to do it. And she did it. And I was like, it didn't hurt at all. Like, really. And she said it was going to hurt because you, by the time you get the front done, you're going to be thinking like, oh wow so yeah the butt part didn't hurt the only thing that hurt on the front i would say was the lips because you're stretching them i don't know i don't really know how to explain it but it's not a, a unbearable pain like it's a pain that you can bear like and it's like a temporary pain like it extends for like 0.2 seconds and then it's over and you're like wow but yeah, that was that. My experience with my first Brazilian wax at the European Wax Center. Yes, I did schedule my next appointment because it is important for you to definitely keep it up. 
don't shave if you're gonna get waxes and you need to keep your waxes don't shave after because you're gonna mess up the way your hair comes in and you're likely to have ingrown hairs so i did of course you know that i gotta sell you stuff so um i did get this body polish it's for like it's an exfoliator for down there so that you can prevent ingrown hair you gotta do this at least three times a week you're supposed to but i've only been doing it two times a week and it's pretty much been working because um like, when I would shave, I wouldn't get ingrown hairs that much, but every once in a while, they would pop up. Um, so, yeah, this is just to help with that, to get it exfoliated and get it looking nice. So, yeah, and I got the um, the natural, the clean, fresh scent, because I don't like fruity stuff down there. That's just not for me. This was, like, it wasn't that expensive. And then, you know, they gave me some samples, too, because the European Wax Center is there for you. Um, let's see if they gave me oh my god it's cool so they gave me some body wet wash more um exfoliated and body lotion samples and then she gave me some face masks too some serum and a face gel so yeah i definitely would recommend if you're if you're going to get a wax to so go to the european wax center um your first wax is only it's only $25 for your first wax. So, that is, like, really good for your first wax. And then, I don't know how much my second one going to be. But it's, it'd probably be, like, $40, $40, 50 for the second one, which isn't bad either. Because, you know, some people going around paying $75 for waxes. And I'm not about to do that. But you can also get memberships where you pay for so many. You get the, the seventh or whatever one for free or whatever. Or you could pay to get a membership pass where you could come as many times you want in a year or whatever. But I'm not going to do that because, like I said, I'm only, I mean, you only need about, what, I don't know how many waxes you would get a year. But I'm fine with that. Um, But, like, I'm definitely planning on keeping this up. Um, If y'all want to know how my second experience goes, y'all want a second experience video or update, I'll let y'all know. But it's been about a week. It's been a week now. And... My hair is not, it's not really, it's growing back, but it's not, like, noticeable. It's, like, stubbly just now when after day two of me shaving, it would have been stubbly. So, I'm pretty much satisfied with this, and I'm going to, I'm interested to see how the rest of them go. Because she said after the first one, you're really not going to, it's really not going to hurt you as much after the first one because you're used to it. But if you shave... In between, it's going to hurt you again because you're messing up your hair. Your hair, the way your hair is growing in and all of that. <sighs> and we can't do that. So, if y'all want to get waxes, I definitely, if y'all been thinking about it, I definitely think you should do it. Don't wait on, like, I waited on somebody to decide they wanted to go. But, if you want to do it, go do it. Because nobody was in the room with me, it was just me and her. So, some places let people come in there with you, some places don't. It just depends on, you know, them. But yeah, get you a wax. Go to European Wax Center because they're for the people and <laughs> they are really, really nice. Um, but yeah, that was my waxing experience. Hope y'all enjoyed this video. Don't laugh at me, but <laughs> if you guys have waxing experiences, definitely comment below. If they were bad, they were good. If you like your waxes, if you prefer shaving, I don't know. But comment below to me what you think. Don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. Comment, rate, comment, like, and subscribe. And hit that bell notification button if you're not already um, a part of notification, fam, real, whatever. Because you don't want to miss all of this. And yeah, I'll see y'all in the next video. I love y'all. Bye.